Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Right from the get go, I'm gonna say please subscribe, um, share, comment, and all that sort of stuff there. But what I'm talking about today is the Honda Check Short Service Connector. It's a mouthful for me to say. I'm a bit dry, so I'm having a beer. So please excuse me as I slip away on this. While many fuel injection diagnostic tools are fairly complex, the one for the Honda, especially the Transalp, is very simple, very basic in that. It's a, a, a tool that's used for when you're fitting these components to tell the computer, basically, the um, diagnostic system, that it's okay to do this. It wipes off all the codes and accepts the, the, um, the grips or the, the um, fog lights or the quick shifter and the like. And there's a little diagnostic port just in below the seat here, which I'll rip out in a sec and show that and show you where this... Um, little adapter connects into it, so let me show you that. You can buy one of these. You can buy one from Honda. In Australia, it's about $70, $80. A lot of money for what it is. Um, AliExpress, eBay, eight or nine dollars. I have seen them as cheap as $30 or so. But basically all they are is a loop wire like that. So a bit like a horseshoe. So underneath here, there's a little red diagnostic port where the dealer will obviously fitting the diagnostic tools to analyze the engine and that. And this sort of overrides it and clears all the, the codes from it so it will accept what you're putting onto the bike. So effectively it's two wires, or one wire in a loop, two ends. In here there's two little spots, you plug it in and it'll override it. So I've got the proper one, I'm gonna use that when I fit the fog lights onto the bike, uh, which will be happening in the next couple of weeks. But I'll also show you how to connect this one up here. So a few people have asked me about that. So let's have a look at what we're gonna be doing underneath the seat. Okay, so you've got the port there. You've got this little cap on top that you need to remove. So we've got that off now. Um, saying you can use the proper one connector, which is just going to slide on like that. And it's bridged and you're ready to go. Okay, put that aside. Or if you're a gambling person, you can grab a bit of wire like that, bear the ends off like that. And there's two little ports. You see this line of red connectors here you go to the outer one put it in and the inner one put in. so that's done just like that outer inner like that connect those two make sure you don't slide them down the side but actually in there and make sure it's got a nice little firm connection there maybe just put a bit of weight on it make sure it's right there then you can proceed with setting up your your fog lights and getting it all to recognize it it's probably better just to have why slightly thicker than that so it fits a little bit firmer in there so alrighty so what we do here so I'll just put this proper one on so I've got it and we'll have a look up at the dash okay so what I'm going to show you now is how to get the bike to recognize the electronic equipment you're putting onto it so this is for recognizing the fog lights your heat grips or your quick shifter so first thing to do is to switch the bike on which I've obviously done there you'll get your standard screen we need to go over to a equipment screen so with your left control here, hold this hard to the right. You'll see a screen change. Now I've got function, display, general, and service. I need to go down to service. So once again, back to the control. I push it down now. One, two, three, which bring, brings me to the service section where I've got maintenance and equipment. I need to get across to the equipment section there. So once again, this toggle, push it to the right. And there we have it. So it's gone white, it's recognizing it. We need to get down to equipment. One click, down, and we're there. We're on equipment. Let's do it again, back to this toggle, push it across, and we have it there. So we're in the right area. So we've got quick shifter, grip heater, and fog lamps there, and they're all turned off. Now it's not recognizing anything because I don't have the um, check service connector on the bike at the moment. If I did have that on the bike, it would say quick shifter on off, Grip heater on off or fog lamp on off. So yeah, I don't have it on there, so it's going to just show off there. So from this point here, once again, it's just a matter of going across to your toggle here, pushing it across to the right, which brings you to the off um, button and you just toggle up and down. So as you can see there, it's just timed out. It's gone back to the main screen. If you leave it too long, it's going to do that. Um, once you made your selections, just back out again, using this toggle here, holding it and moving back to the beginning. And you're set, should be right to go. So guys, pretty straightforward one tonight. Um, yeah, if you like it, please hit that like button, comment down below and share the video, subscribe and all that sort of stuff really helps the channel. And from myself and old Rugi here, 
catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Come on, buddy. Let's go.